Hey, I'm Alan and I'm the product manager for Diesel Wiring. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the software. I'm going to walk you through the process of searching for, finding, and reading one of our wiring diagrams so that you'll be familiar with our system and ready to start using diesel wiring with your daily workflow. To start, you're going to want to go to dieselwiring.com. Uh, this is the homepage here. You'll see this wiring simplified. You'll see the start for free button. Uh, once you click this button, it'll prompt you to make an account. Uh, since I already have an account, it's going to auto automatically log me in. So then here on this wiring diagrams page, you'll see the multiple drop down menus. Um, we set it up this way to we try to make it as easy as possible for a user to find what they're looking for. We know how difficult and annoying it can be to find the exact diagram you're looking for. So that's kind of why we structured it this way. Um, let me just show you a few examples. So with select make, you'll see all the different makes that we currently have in the system. Um, for example, I'll select Detroit, um, then type. You'll select the type, and so I'm going to select engine. Uh, then years, um, I'm going to do EPA 2010. And then from there, you'll select what model you have. Let's select uh, DD13. And then you can pick what type. So if you want to look at the diagram or the component locator. Uh, when you select each one, it gives you a little preview here to the right about the file you selected. That's the one for the diagram. And this is the one for the component locator. Um, and it, it's structured that way throughout every model. So uh, aside from just engine stuff, we also have some cabin chassis stuff. Um, so let's look at Mac, for example. So Mac, so the type, instead of engine, I'm just going to select cabin chassis. And then I can select a year for whatever model truck I have. So let's select 2012 model. Uh, let's select CHU. And then you'll see we have different types here that you can pick from. Uh, so say you wanted to look at the ABS and traction control. Um, so I'll select that. You'll see the preview here to the right. So I'm going to hit download and then you'll just hit save and save it anywhere on your desktop. Then open the file. And so this is what it'll look like when you open it. So we have this title page. Then we have this how-to page here. It shows you how to read like what the components are, the circuit number, uh, the abbreviations for the colors, how everything's basically labeled on the diagram, some of, some of the basic symbols you'll see. Then you'll have a little section overview and table of contents. Um, and one cool thing about them is that these are a, these are hyperlinks, so you can click them to navigate easily where you want to go. So if I click on analog brakes and collision avoidance, it'll bring me to the subsections for that. So I'll click on Bendix Success or 6M Hill Assist Switch to look at that. And so, boom, it takes me right to it. If I wanted to go back to look at something else, I could hit this Return to Table button, Return to Overview, um, you know. So it, it's pretty cool how it's uh, pretty interactive in that way. So uh, just for example, this hill assist switch here, you'll see we we're trying to use basic symbols. So um, like a bulb is going to be a light bulb. Now we try to keep everything uniform so it's easy to read and you know what you're looking at. Um, another thing we also do is you can see here on this switch, this pin 4 of the hill assist switch, goes into the ABS control unit and that's A12B at pin X31. So if you're not sure where that is on the A12B, um, we do try to add the connectors as well. So you'll see we can go back here and then we have the section for the connectors. So we can click on A12B X3 Pin 1 here is the electronic control transmission. It shows the circuit number as well. So, so that's a pretty nice feature as well. Um, so let's go back out of this, back to the home page. So um, also on the account tab, this My Info is just a, a quick overview of, you know, your name and all the information you entered. So you can change your address or whatever. The, the manage your account button you can change your subscription from a free to a to a paid account or change your payment info or change your plan uh, one really cool thing is this my documents tab here 
Um, it's going to list every document you've ever downloaded. It will store it here. So say you downloaded a diagram and you can't find it on your computer, you deleted it, not sure what happened to it, you'll be able to come here and re-download it. You'll just click on it, hit the download button, and it downloads it for you. So we also have this contact button. Um, so you can just fill in your email address, your first and last name, and put a message. Any kind of feedback would be great. If there's a diagram that you need that we do not have, please let us know, and we will try our best to get it in for the next update. We'll be updating our database regularly, so please check our blog for update information. I hope you enjoyed this software walkthrough. Thank you for watching.